over here! We meet again at- Are your adventures going smoothly? That is the spirit. It seems that you have a wealth of experience under your belt now. Time to introduce you to the formal work of the guild. The guild receives requests from far and wide each day, and assigns commissions to adventurers accordingly. These commissioned adventures are the main source of compensation for our guild members. What kind of commissions are they? It is a mixed bag. Anything from running an errand for fellow citizens to dealing with monsters. Some are textbook, others are extremely dangerous. But you do not have to take my word for it. You should find out for yourself. Here you can find the details of today's commissions. Please report back to me upon completion. There will be a generous reward waiting for you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. I await your return with great anticipation. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Ad Astra Abyss... Ad Astra... Add Ash. Haven't you heard? There will definitely be something that catches your eye.
Life goes on.
destroyed. Here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ugh, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. It's because maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. Maybe I wasn't meant for this world. Life goes on. You gotta focus on your technique when you're gliding. If you want to try again, just let me know. Sure, but you... If you want to... Cool. You'll... Thank you. 
You gotta fo if you wanna try. Cool. You'll. Surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting. Hey, here! Over here! I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the exam. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready, let's try... Keep a firm grasp on the wit.
think you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway. Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Uh, what's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. Springvale, there must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. Ooh, hey, what do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows! It's from a frame of a wind glider, therefore... There are no elemental traces on it. Oh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. Hmm, a strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wind glider. Of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, 
And it looks like it's true! No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature! Is it edible? <sighs> what a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Goba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. <laughs> don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it. really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. Mushrooms? Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with sign condensate. Paimon thinks she's forgotten about us. Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh, gosh. This is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm, I got it! I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. There's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. 
I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! <laughs> Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead! It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going! Thank goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly chills won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly churls attacked our carts. Hilly churls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly churl camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village. The route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today... Some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out into the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? Well, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm going to report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. <laughs> Another test subject. Suffocate! <laughs> Okay. 
they've gone. I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here for? I wonder. Well, this measly bunch can't slow us down, that's for sure. But we also haven't found the artifact, which means Raptor still has it on him. Forget these guys. Oh, look where we are. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! There's only one way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're gonna do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? Yeah, but what's that gotta do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt herself. So, what do you say? Woohoo! Good answer! Prepare for takeoff! Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that gliding license is yours!
Natural. I knew you'd be fine. All that's left now is to grab ourselves a raptor. Let's go! Okay, faster. <sighs> faster? Okay, faster.
faster? Okay, faster. Okay, faster.
It looks like there's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be Raptor! You can't escape! <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh, it is pretty high. And quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry, I promise that once the Grand Master gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! <sighs> You're right. Ugh, he's right there in front of us. If only we could glide across. <sighs> so how did he get across? Hmm, I don't see a mechanism, and I have good eyesight. Besides, there's nowhere on the cliff that you could build one. Bye-bye, kiddo. Oh no, he's getting away! Ugh, we can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. <laughs> 